Okay, I'm at 5 Milligan Avenue in Australind. Um, this property is a two let only property. What that means is we find the tenants for the owner, we draw up the lease, we do the ingoing property condition report, and then we hand it all back to the owner for them to self-manage. So collecting the rents, doing inspections and the like. So let's get started. As you can see, quite a long driveway. So the, that's wonderful for tandem parking. So you could fit so many cars up this driveway. Um, oh, I didn't mention before that this is a three bedroom, one bathroom property on for $270 a week. So let's take a closer look. As I just said, with the tandem parking up the driveway, whew, definitely getting my exercise. <laughs> Um, quite a big front yard so you can do what you like here pets are considered but as you can see there's no fencing to close off the backyard so you will have to supply your own fencing um, so this is the carport area so you could park your most precious cars in here got a single power point there so you can hook your tools up if you like Way down here is the backyard. So we've got a beautiful hibiscus tree right there. Um, patio across here. So wonderful for outdoor entertaining. This is actually, if you're too young, you might not see this or remember it. This is a wood box. So you can store all your firewood in here because this one has a working fireplace. So you've got another power point there, weather protected. We've got a little garden shed out here. You can store all your tools and everything in here. Here we go. Have a look at this. Just wonderful space. Show you the other side. So you could fit quite a bit in that shed if you are so inclined. You don't have to use the shed. I'm not forcing you to use the shed. All right, let's have a look inside. So as we step inside, we've got the security light here. You walk in, you've got a lovely half wall that steps right down into the lounge area. So you've got a separate lounge. This open fireplace is for tenant use. And as I showed you the wood box before, so you've pretty much stocked for winter. So we've got TV point, aerial point here, and a double power point. So you could easily put your TV right there. Um, as we move over here, we've got a gas point for any gas heaters that you may have, double power points, right there and here and right there is a split system air conditioner so if you're a bit hot too hot for the fireplace you can just use the aircon so as we come in here this is the dining area bit but there's also another living area right over here which you can just pop out into the backyard or open it up for entertainment um, so there's double power point right there another aerial point so you could have two TVs in this place another double power point and a gas point so wherever you are in the house you won't be getting cold here's your phone point right here this is the kitchen all right so tiled kitchen just a simple kitchen with breakfast bar and you've got your drawers get the light out of the way got your drawers and cupboards got a single bowl sink with two dish draining areas and then sort of another breakfast bar up here then you've got all these cupboards up here and a little recessed shelf for, I don't know, cereals, flour, spices. You can whack your fridge in here. If your fridge is too tall, it's okay. You can just whack it right next to it. 
and the double power point right there will be able to reach either way you put your fridge in. Um, you've got exhaust, you've got the convection cooktop and a gas oven. And you've got a little uh, cutting board area so you can put hot uh, pots and pans on there without worrying to damage the bench top or you can just use it as a cutting board and you've got your double power point again there and also double power point at the end of the breakfast bar all right you've got two little hooks here you can do whatever you like with them and that clock is also hanging by a hook so you can put a mirror or keep the clock put a picture up there all right so we've got separate toilet right there so you don't have to worry about if someone's showering and you want to use the toilet right next to it is the laundry so we've got washing machine taps double power point right there your wash trough right there and as you open this up I can't open it because it's got security lock on it so easy enough so then people can't break in too easily we'll open this right up this is a gas hot water system and if we come up here you've got your hose reel so you can easily put it back once you're done there's another hose reel for the front yard as well right down here all right going back inside you've got quite a large towel rail so you can put clothes there to dry if you don't want your neighbors to see your delicates um you've got your bathroom right here with the separate shower and tub got little hidden shelf thing for all your bath products right there and quite a cute little bench obviously a mirror so then you can pimp and preen and we'll open up the shower which is pretty decently sized and it's got a pretty UV shower rose as well all right come out into the hallway and you've got your linen cupboard pretty good storage space in here just open her up and I'll show you what we've what we're working with so right up there you can put all your comforters and stuff and there's enough space for all your sheets this is one of the minor bedrooms with a little nook for hanging your stuff up uh, let's find the PowerPoint it's right there that's a double PowerPoint right there all right what kind of bed could you get in here a queen might be a bit of a squeeze but I reckon it's doable a double bed would definitely fit in there and so would a single bed all right this room we've got the same kind of thing so a little nook in there for maybe chest of drawers or what have you little hook for personalizing this room got a double power point and a phone point it looks like so you could easily hook up to your modem in here use it as a study if you don't need the third bedroom again a queen bed could possibly fit in here with some creative uh, positioning but I'd say a double and a single would definitely fit in here now this is the master bedroom uh, queen bed could most definitely fit in here uh, got your double PowerPoint here and excuse me you're going to have a quick look at me hi um, so this is just all cupboard space so open that up so you've got enough room for your clothes and more room for your clothes and more room for your clothes and then your partner's clothes can be this much or you know I don't know your arrangements but you've also got all of this space up here 
So in the summer, you can just put your winter clothes up there. You don't even need them in the summer. So you've got some more room to play with. Got the window looking right out onto the front yard. Beautiful. And we've got a little air con there. So then if it gets too hot, you can just whack that on and have a sleep. All right. So that is 5 Milligan Avenue. If you're interested in renting this property, please contact our office.